hello everyone hope you're right in today's video i'm going to plant my cornflower seeds which i collected last year for my cornflowers and these are really beautiful plants they can grow up to two feet three feet tall and they produce really beautiful pink blue purple color small flowers which are good for cut flower arrangements so I'm going to plant them in these pots. They are separate cells and uh, I'm going to plant three or four seeds per pot and later on I can decide how many we want to keep. So it will be nice to see is there any difference if you start them from uh, seeds which you buy from the shop or your own collected seeds. So here I'm filling up this containers with this multi-purpose compost which i normally use for all my seed starting and planting uh, you should not use garden soil because that's kind of heavy for your seed starting and compost or potting mix is good because it has light and fluffy and it has nutrients for your seedlings to flourish so i have filled it evenly and i'm going to water it to make it moist And the soil can settle out a little bit when you water it and as you can see these are good size seeds not very big not very small so you can handle them easily I'm going to just sprinkle them like this in each cell and later on when they germinate I can see how many I want to keep or transplant or thin so later on depending on germination rate I can decide what to do with them so I'm going to cover them lightly with this compost and water them once more and basically that's all you need to do you don't need to fertilize your when you start your seeds you once the seedlings appear and they have got two sets of true leaves then you can start fertilizing them and that's all it's really easy to start your own seed it's a little update of my cornflower seeds which i uh, sowed a week ago or so and you can see almost all of them have germinated or are still germinating they are really fast growing plants and um, i'm quite happy with the performance of these seeds i collected them last year myself from my plants and as you can see they have germinated really well looking nice really fast growing and i'm quite hopeful for the progress of these plants I'm going to plant these beautiful corn flowers in my patio container. As you can see, they are looking really beautiful. I started them from seeds last month and they have grown really nicely in here. And there are 10 plug plants here. So there are um, uh, three to four plants in each cell. So corn plants uh, like they are grow quite tall but they're skinny so it's good idea to um, so like four to five plants in each cell so then you can treat them as plug plants so i'm going to grow them in this patio container which is quite big it holds like 25 to 30 liter of soil and i have put uh, top soil in it which is really loose and moist it stays moist all the time but it's good draining as well so the water doesn't stay in here as you can see it's really nice and good and i'm going to amend it with some multi-purpose compost and i'm going to add some chicken manure colors which are slow releasing fertilizer it has four percent nitrogen 1.5% phosphorus and 2% potassium so nitrogen is good for the growth of leaves and um, phosphorus helps with root growth and potassium for flowering and overall immunity of system so we grow these plants for their ornamental value for their flowers they grow, look really beautiful and they attract pollinators crazy i grew them last year as well and they are absolutely beautiful you can also use their flowers in cut flower arrangements so i'm going to take them out of here in these cells and they come out really nicely as you can see here 
so they are really root bound in here so they need another medium to go so I'm just going to fluff up the roots uh, lightly so they grow in all directions and I'm going to arrange them here on this container and I'm going to fill around them with soil so their roots are covered So the seedlings can go under a little bit of shock when you transplant them and that's fine they will recover soon so you need to keep an eye on them and just water them gently if it's dry and uh, when they recover from the shock after a week or so then you can start fertilizing them with a water soluble fertilizer on a fortnightly schedule so that's looking good going to show you the progress of my corn flowers which i planted earlier in april you can see it's fully grown now and this is at its peak so they have been blooming now for a week or so and they're full of blooms and some birds are still going to open but these are fresh new blooms and they are quite prolific so you can see all these colors dark blue light blue purple pink white and i collected these seeds myself last year so last year when i sowed them i sowed them in the ground and in the container but like they flopped over but this year i saw them in this big container and i saw them very very dense so there were quite a lot of seeds or seedlings in this container and uh, you can see they are grown very nicely and I think this way they are supporting each other they are much more upright and um, they are standing really well in the wind storms we are having these days so when I planted the seedlings I added a slow release fertilizer and then I added a uh, side resting after a month or so and basically that's all I'm doing um, they de do need lots of water they can dry out very quickly if the soil is dry so basically we do get lots of rain and uh, if it goes dry for a couple of days then I make sure to water them properly they do prefer a sunny spot so this spot gets lots of morning sun and little bit of afternoon sun so basically they need watering they need sun and a good fertilizer so then they reward you with loads of nice blooms their blooms are ideal for cut flower arrangement as well so they have quite long stems so you can cut them and you can use them in fresh flower arrangements if you keep deadheading them then they produce more and more blooms so as you can see i have deadheaded some of the faded blooms so basically if you deadhead them you don't let them to go to seed and they produce more blooms if you don't deadhead them then they will go to seeds very quick and their bloom season will be much smaller so i will share with you when i collect these seeds so basically if you let them go to seed and let the seed pods dry they produce seeds which you can collect and sow them next year they are quite cold tolerant so you can start them earlier during the year in spring when it's still cold and then they start flowering in early summer so i really like the blooms they are called corn flowers because they used to grow as a weed in corn fields they are also called bachelor button so they are quite different names they are known by and basically they are quite lovely blooms they attract pollinators crazy uh, these days i can see lots of bees on them so basically they are quite versatile flowers and plants with lots of potential and their foliage is quite narrow and oblong like grassy texture so when they sway around in wind it just like grass swaying around in wind with all those lovely blooms and colors 
so i really like these flowers and i think it's a good idea to add them to your garden for a cottage garden feeling i'm going to collect cornflower seeds so this is basically a dried faded flower bird and if you open it the seeds will be inside so mine are pretty dry at the moment so this is how you can open the seed bird and this is the seed so these seeds are like little bit feathery and they are not very huge not very small they are nice size seeds and pretty easy to collect so i'm going to collect the flower buds from here which are pretty dry so here you can see i still have got lots of flowers on this plant but there are lots of seed pods as well so if you don't let hedge your flowers they will fade they will go to seed and they will form a seed pod and you want the seed pod to be absolutely dry when you collect it so you can collect as many seed pods as you want there are like hundreds of seed pods and there are like thousands of seeds in them so it's very easy to collect your own cornflower seeds and they have very good germination as well so here i'm gonna collect all my seed pods and then i will show you how to collect the seeds and save them so here i have got all my seed pods in this nice deep ball it's good idea to use a nice deep ball to collect your seeds otherwise you may lose them easily so here i'm just gonna squish open all these seed pods and going to collect all these seeds in here and there will be husk as well so then i will show you how to remove the husk so this is not very complicated really easy you collect your seed pods which are absolutely dry then you squish them open and take your seeds out and i'm putting the empty seed heads aside so after removing your seeds make sure to put them aside so try not to mix anything up with the seeds there will still be a little bit husk mixed up with seeds which we can remove easily so i have collected all my seeds now i'm going to separate my viable seeds from non-viable seeds as well as chaff chaff is basically the husk which gets mixed up with the seeds when you take your seeds out of the seed pods and uh, non-viable seeds are basically the seeds which don't have fully developed embryos in them they are not fully mature and they won't germinate and the viable seeds are the ones which are fully mature fully developed and they are dormant but once they get suitable conditions they will germinate so viable seeds are pretty heavy and non-viable seeds and chaff don't have any weight so what i'm doing here is i'm lifting few seeds and today is quite windy so the wind is blowing across so when i lift them up and drop them back from a height the non viable seeds and chaff are blown away by the wind so you can do this in front of a fan which is not very fast or you can simply blow on the seeds so you can lift the seeds up and drop them back and meanwhile you can blow them non viable seeds and chaff will be removed as they are pretty lightweight so you do it few times to get your seeds separated and basically those will be good seeds and will have good germination rate and then you can store them in an airtight bag and label them so corn flowers and when you collected them if you know about the variety you can put variety name on it and basically you can store them in your cupboard away from moisture heat and light so they will stay viable for a couple of years so here i have separated all my seeds they are looking pretty good and there are quite a lot of seeds in there and this amount of seeds can give you a lot of plants which will be enough to fill your flower border and here is a close-up to see how they look so hope you enjoyed watching this video Please give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel. Press the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of my gardening videos. You can also join my channel for extra perks. Thank you very much for watching today. See you next time. Bye.